What if I told you you could get a quality OE filter at the fraction of the cost? Well, these two examples in front of me look very similar on the outside, and I will take you inside to show you some of the similarities and differences. If you take a look at the outer body shell of the filter, you'll see that the geometry is exact. The manufacturing identification is even the same color. The top side looks very similar as well with the number of holes in the top at quick glance they look the same. On this end cap the engagement features are molded into the seal and on this end cap the engagement features are stamped into the metal. So this top uh, upper cover is just a, a way to hold the sealing o-ring. There's a bottom cover that seals off the internal pressure relief. If you look closely, the bottom cover has a TT stamped uh, directly into the metal on each, each filter. Here is the bottom side of the sealing cap the side of the stamping is identical. So here's where the fun and games start. The relief rubber is different. It's a different diameter on both uh, ID and OD. I've tried swapping this one to here and this one to here and they don't directly swap. The felt is cut to a different diameter. The core that keeps the filter from collapsing is the same. The media pack in both filters appears to be exactly the same. The end pleat is glued in the same way. The end cap felts are glued in the same way. The stamp piece in the bottom is also the same. The number of pleats is also the same. Um, everything suggests that the manufacturing method is identical. And that's really the key. You get the same quality part with much less cost. Back to the fun and games on the oil pressure relief. Yes, they are different, but the secret of oil filters is they're filtering a very small fraction at a time. The media and the internal structure of the filter cannot handle the full pressure of the oiling system or the volume for that matter. There's very little space for oil to flow through a filter. And my argument is that most of the oil that's supposed to go through the filter is rejected. You're probably looking at 70 or 80 percent rejection. The relief difference is just a slight tweak. It's not going to make a huge difference because if it did, the internal structure would be completely different. So down to the cost. I purchased a lot of filters through Rock Auto on their website, the Champ Filters, $1.63 versus the AC Delco of $3.30. I see very little risk and will be switching over to the Champ Filter in the future. Now if you go to Champion Labs website, you'll see that they make a lot of different filters. To me, with just this quick comparison, they probably make both of them. A short random piece of knowledge for this week. If you like what you're seeing, please subscribe and like. And thank you.